Hello, everybody. Duckman here. It was last time we built an iron farm. We built an XP farm, and we we've been get, we've been going places. We've been going places fast. You'll notice in my inventory, I did a little grinding. I decided, you know, this uh probably wouldn't actually be that fun to watch me do, and it wasn't fun to do in general. But <clears throat> We've got some some witherage, and that's you know we're gonna be we're gonna be doing some some wither fighting. So I think we're gonna start with that. Now we do not have nearly enough blocks to make multiple beacons, but I did do a little grinding off screen also for iron with our iron farm and. We've got a full beacon. It looks bad. It does not look good. But it's good enough. It'll work. You know, beacons aren't always about looks. Sorry, I just got a message on my phone. Um, I don't plan on fighting this in a full legit way, so I'm sorry if that offends anybody. But uh <clears throat> I'm gonna need some arrows. Yeah, I use a lot of air. I did I use all of my arrows? I used almost all of my arrows. Oh when I was fighting the the wither skeletons. Okay, I have twenty-one arrows. Hold on. Um, okay, I guess I'll have to do. We're gonna be using mostly a sword, it seems. So, I'm gonna be putting all of the non important things away. When I say non important, I mean like these things. And literally, only combat utility is gonna be here. I don't want. I don't want to lose my my fireworks. Uh, that's not a lot of food. So now I have all my food on me. Some random garbage. Chest on. And um, yeah. I mean, let's just get down to it. It's not a power five bow, which is a little disappointing, but it's all fine. It's all fine. <clears throat> I need to decide where, how far down I should go to do this. Um, I probably should have brought a pickaxe. Just a generic pickaxe. So, that's a far end. I've got to do two, so I'm going to make this one a bit far. This might do. This area is kind of close. Kind of close. Yeah. Should have brought a pick. Um, how do I want to go about this? I only need to mine out two blocks, technically. Oh, it's gravel. Still technically only two blocks. Um, boom, boom. Do they have to really face forward? Is it that specific? <laughs> Fine, I'll make them face forward. Ah, uh, there's a 
because there's a block in the way? This is the gravel. My corner gravel. I'm breaking my fist currently. Remember how big the explosion is. Oh. Take a damage. We did it. Another star acquired. Um, I don't know what happened. Why? <clears throat> why it went crazy and didn't just do what it was doing at the very end. But um, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Honestly, I didn't realize how strong this armor I had. I was. Um, I'm gonna go back and do it again. This time I might just use my sword. My sword was doing more damage than my bow. <clears throat> but we have, we officially have another star. So even if something horrible goes wrong, we will still have at least one beacon. Um, if something horrible goes wrong, there's going to be a problem, <laughs> because this is essentially single player, and when you're in single player, you be very careful with withers, because if you die, you might just be screwed. So this episode, I do plan on, uh, I plan on making my beacon. I plan on, uh, what's it called? Um, I want to make my, start digging out the creeper farm. Because it's not easy to get gun. I mean, it's easy to get gunpowder, but it's kind of something I don't want to do. I want it automated so I can get uh, fireworks. So it seems that it's pretty important for the area to be cleared. Boom, go big boom.
two nether stars. Easy peasy. <clears throat> and if I had just the biggest pulse, you could even use withers to clear out a area. Although that's the sketchiest thing you could do. Just period. <clears throat> um I'm pretty sure that the beacon will insta mine with well with the beacon I'll be able to insta mine blocks. So this should go by pretty quickly. Man, my nose has been bugging me. Okay. Um, let's go on and make this. Make this a uh, thing. One obsidian. Please tell me we have more. I don't want to go up and down these stairs a hundred times. Probably requires normal glass. An arrow just flew out of nowhere. I have glass somewhere, right? Uh... Aha! Glass! Yes. Okay. We need more obsidian. We can get all our stuff back too. Wingy boys, get the wingy boys up in here, and there we go. Um, yeah. By the way, that that uh, XP farm that we have, oh, it's so fast. XP is almost instant. I don't think I'm going to be using this for a long time. So we need three on the bottom. I'm just going to make two beacons now because I don't think that nether stars have a use for anything other than a beacon and uh, those uh Uh, stars, the nether, nether, or uh, end, end balls of explosion. So, I didn't grab my, uh, my rockets. Dang it. Rockets. And let's make them. Plop. Two beacons. Just like that. And it's night time. So let's sleep. <clears throat> then we'll be able to, uh, Start, start making progress. Although, I'm gonna need to clean my inventory out. And by clean, I mean make my base messier. Working pick. Put arrows in there. There were more arrows in there, by the way. Just, just an FYI for those of you keeping track. Um, probably gonna want the food on me. Keep that, keep that, don't eat that. That. Put one beacon in here for now. Um, probably gonna want to empty those out because, yeah. Ooh, that's. Well, uh, actually, I don't need to do that just yet, but I will. Um, torches. Bow away. I'll keep my axe on me just because it's a tool. Yeah. 
tool I use. Okay, now we need to clear out these. Ugh. Basically the same thing. Luckily there's not too much in here. I don't want to get rid of cobblestone because honestly it's something that could be useful eventually. Two empty shulkers, put those back, silk touch this, grab it, put that there, we got our beacon, we got our beacon fuel, food, you guys should probably get out the door. And we've got our beacon that I shouldn't have set up here. So, I actually don't know how big this area needs to be that I uh, started making like a area for. Um, I think creepers get scared six blocks away from, from cats. Wow, gold mine's a lot faster than iron. So this is going to be exactly enough for a beacon. So many blocks, it's ridiculous. And almost half of this was just grinded from just straight mining. That, that baffles me the most, honestly. I didn't trade with villagers. I didn't make an iron farm. I just... <laughs> I just did this. I just mined. Some of those pathways down there go a very long way. You know, I should turn off my... Oh, it is off. It's weird. I felt like there was some Minecraft music going on in the background. everything look at this that's ridiculous two stacks in 36 okay now let's fly on over I should have brought a bed for when it's nighttime but I guess it's not the biggest deal and I also lit up that bottom area Okay, um, I'm going to set this up just outside. You're joking, right? Oh my gosh. Dude! <laughs> There's so many... I, if this was a skeleton one, I would have been so happy. I'm actually really disappointed that this wasn't a skeleton one. Is, is that greedy? Probably. I have, I've found three easily accessible spider spawners. I found... This one's crazy accessible. I found, um, yeah, so I found this one. I found the one in the bottom. I have the uh, others, the other spider, which isn't the most easy, I guess, but whatever. And then I have the two 
in the end or, or in the end fortress. That's ridiculous. If that was a skeleton, that would have been that would have been super awesome. I would have just I would have just had fun with that one. Yeah, you know, that would have been a nice uh, a nice little bone farm slash arrow farm. I wouldn't have used it for XP at all. Now that I have my XP grinder, it's not worth it. It does make me a little uncomfortable that there's words in the song, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm not gonna get, you know, copyright claim from it. I trust this channel. I've gotten a lot of, uh, I've gotten a lot of videos off with this music and haven't gotten any copyright claims. That's all that really matters. Goes one stack. Oops. There goes side eighteen. There goes all my gold. Oops. Oh, yeah, no. Just one block goes over. <laughs> this doesn't feel like enough. and Beaconator. Boop. 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 Beacon effect. Yeah! Haste 2. Okay, let's... Yeah, I'm honestly curious. I'm gonna go down here. Now I wanna check out what, uh... What achievements do I have left? I have a lot of achievements left. I haven't done like any of these. Discover every biome. I've discovered 26. I haven't done anything with crossbows. Uh, honey block. Summon an iron golem. I haven't summoned an iron golem. Wow. Horse modal. Mortal. Uh, kill one of every hostile monster. Let's see, I've killed every... How have I not killed every hostile monster? I haven't killed the Endermite. I killed... Uh, I wonder what I'm missing. I've, I might not have killed a witch. I haven't killed any of the Ravager stuff and Pillagers. That's probably a good amount of them. Actually, that might literally be like almost all of them. <clears throat> Respawn the Ender Dragon. Collect the Dragon's Breath in Bottle. Levitate up to 50 blocks from Attack of Shulker. Nether. Rescue gas from the Nether. Bring it to the Hill Pro Pro. And then kill it. Use the nether to travel 7 kilometers in the overworld. And have every potion effect applied at the same time. Yikes. Um, food. 
breed all the animals, tame all cat variants, catch a fish without a fishing rod, bees, eat everything that is edible, even if it's not good for you, completely use up a diamond hoe, and then reevaluate your life choices. <clears throat> And just normal Minecraft. I still have not really done anything with a shield. Weaken a zombie and cure villager. Okay. I made some progress. Some serious progress. And now look at this. Oh, yes. You know, this is. This speed is almost convincing me. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Just, just to kind of make it easier, honestly. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make this a square instead of the exact shape. Which does mean I'm gonna have to deal with that water over there, which is gonna be annoying, but whatever. The squares are a lot easier to insta mine out than uh, that weird shape that I was making. The diamond, I guess you could call it. recreate the same thing if I let it go again, so I'm gonna just block it off way up here. Let it create another cool natural flow. Yeah, so that should get rid of all the worry about it. <clears throat> We've already been able to insta mine that stuff for a while now. The beacon is now very much in this area. glad that uh it's not really in the way of my mining though because you know I insta mining is not my specialty probably would uh break it a little bit oh my goodness Did we luck out again? Oh my goodness, we lucked out again.
need to make sure we got this corner all good. Zap. Zap through that entire thing of dirt. Let's go around and pick up the pieces. bad because how much of this junk I keep breaking. It's not the biggest deal. I'm probably just going to cover it up completely anyways. Um, okay, I mean, I guess now we... so much faster. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Trying to tame myself a little. I also need to remember to, uh, to remember to uh nice. Oh we already mined through this area, look at that. Yeah, we're gonna have to light this up, so this is a big cave. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> okay, well maybe we'll do that later. Um Because it, all our mob farms are going to be here, this is just going to be taking up our mob spawning space. This is just satisfying. Of course we'll have to make one or two trips back to the uh, to the end. Try and keep it somewhat organized because you know there's gonna be so many blocks that's gonna kind of need to be a little organized. <clears throat> Mostly just the cobblestone, though, is what I'm gonna try and organize. <coughs> Keep cobblestone in there, and then just the rest in here. Just garbage. Just 
is garbage, as one says. Oh, oh. Fell. I fell. I fell in the fire. fire. <clears throat> I drowned. It was just birthed. Yeah, at some point I'm gonna have to go through and really just clear out all the caves in this area. At night it won't be the most efficient, but I don't feel like torching up all of the area. That'd be insane. Okay, I'm just gonna make a little, you know, obvious, uh, wall around every once in a while. Really make it obvious where this place is so we don't accidentally screw it up. Right here? Just a tad bit past the cave. Essentially. <coughs> Instantly. God, this is just so satisfying. Actually, I'm going to have to go mining for diamonds like this. It's something that I've, I don't think I've actually ever done is the, uh, <clears throat> instead of strip mines, just the giant pile mines. <laughs> between this time and the last time that uh, I'm gonna organize it a little you know I'm gonna have the cobblestone which is already full get out you demonic creature <laughs> I'm gonna have the cobblestone the uh, random ores and just whatever. Oh. Yeah, everything in my hot bar I keep. The rest goes wherever. <clears throat> you know, that's where gravel will go. Sand. But uh. So you know what? I'll just put. I'll put this in here. That way I can have one open inventory spot. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we got you know, the special blocks like that. 
I'll, I'll make a dirt and gravel. And coarse dirt, I guess. Random. This. And in your cobblestone. <clears throat> So I just pick that. I think I'll just keep these in my inventory. Yeah. Just like that. ways whether it be ender pearls or ender pearls. <laughs> uh emeralds or anything you know, i could just enchant one and it'll be okay not great but okay and i do want this to go all the way down to bedrock i want it to be fairly efficient Don't, there's no way that I'm going to be making it all the way up to sky limit though because that's just too much and it would look ugly. Yeah, I don't want this going past basically the ground. <laughs> Stuff like this is not the most pretty. This would have taken hours to do what I've just done in minutes. I'm quite happy with this. I also might change to my uh, silk tuck. <coughs> Whoa. <clears throat> I just inhaled like my own saliva or something. <laughs> but uh yeah. I'm probably gonna switch to my silk touch pick once this pick gets low. Cause I don't wanna break it, but I also don't wanna have to go to the Enderman farm already. at any random like <clears throat> just spaz my mouse around this is great what level are we at 44 I did kind of forget that we were on a, a hill Let's pick all this junk up. I was gonna say, there's no way that my inventory is full already. 
That'd be ridiculous. Okay. Although the cobble's not. Once the cobble, once we run out of shulkers, I'll stop collecting the cobblestone. But until then, I don't want to waste it. <clears throat> Because if at any point I have to start mining up cobblestone, I'm going to be like, ah, remember that, remember that time when I could have just not? Mm -hmm. I remember that time, like it was just this instant. I hope, uh, I know... You know, doing stuff like this is really inefficient for actually finding ores. But I hope we get some diamonds. That'd be cool. I'm still debating how I plan on going through and getting all the caves. Because it's such a daunting task. Do I want to actually do it in vanilla? I might just have to. I mean, I obviously wouldn't go through and create a, but like, just go in spectator just to find the caves. I don't know. Maybe that's too cheaty. one of those projects nobody wants to watch somebody do nobody wants to do although to be fair you guys probably don't want to watch me do this either but it's fun for me at least just mining all this out look how far down we are i'm out of hunger <coughs> Making a way downtown. Mining fast. And we're creeper bound. Yeah, so I I basically wanted to make it this large so that way there is zero chance of me needing to mine out more. Especially since we have insta mine on, it's just kind of worth it. Although it did almost like probably triple the amount of time it would take thinking about it. Man, you really don't mind ores very fast with this compared to being instant. I remember uh, on there's a group of people called Minecraft. There's this one YouTuber called DocM. He uh he mined out a 300 by 300 area and uh, filled it with water to make a max efficiency uh, witch farm. That's just insane. Alright, so is this one? Yeah, there we go. That, I mean, that's just, that's crazy. And it had a mountain biome in it, too. You know, that's... That's dedication. I wonder how much time he actually put into that. It had to have been a ton. 
Yeah. And once I get this creeper farm running, I'll be able to go end busting. As a few YouTubers call it. Where you go through the end and you know, get a whole bunch of elytras and Come on. You get a whole bunch of elytras and shulker boxes. switching tools in the middle of my <clears throat> middle of my mining not on my watch I don't think the server likes how fast I'm doing this but luckily you know Mining blocks isn't the most intensive thing ever. The dropping items kind of is a little intensive, but it's not something we need to worry about too much. The amount of mobs is actually kind of a good thing because that that could mean this is like the only uh, the only cave system in the area. Which I mean is lame for right now, but good thing for the long haul. torches I just shot it oh, I did hi hi nice talking to you kind sir Probably be the last layer that I use my pick on. And we'll be going over to Shield Protect. One thing I know for sure. Oops. One thing I know for sure is that I don't want uh I will definitely take the three special stones over cobblestone any day. So we do end up filling up. I am replacing cobblestone with diorite, andesite, and granite. Really? 
get get I would like to just see in general like how many caves are in the area. I was gonna say there's another cave, but I found the cave. I fell in the cave. Okay. Be free, bat. It's looking like time for another outlining. The outlining. My inventory is filled. Never mind. Although it is close. I'll let the creeper blow up because it just speeds things up. So let's be real here. That's all it's gonna do. For projects like this, creepers just speed up the progress. Slayer had a lot of ores in it. Okay. Oops. Um, got you. All of y'all, and you are full. Killers. And throw this in. Ooh, I like this. Do -do 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 -do. Ah. 
I done did fail. I remember once me and my friend uh, Ian, we mined out a 10 by 10 hole down to bedrock on a server because we felt like it. And um, it was before we had any like tools. I don't think we had any diamond and we didn't have very much iron so like we did it almost entirely out of wooden tools and we also had like a mob grinder that was made of just like wood and maybe cobblestone or maybe it's just cobblestone probably was just cobblestone but uh the owners of the server they they gave us these, uh, like, I guess they might have come over at some point and, like, spotted us. You know, they are they're being nice and whatnot, and they gave us some, like, random junk that's, uh, it was, like, I remember specifically we got, un we got Feather Falling... Um, was it X? I think it was X, yeah, at the time. It was Feather Falling X boots. And we loved them. They were so fun to mess around with. <laughs> we, uh, we would, once we finished our hole, we, we would jump down all the way to the bottom of the hole and just be completely fine, take zero damage. Or maybe it wasn't zero, but it was almost zero. And they gave us like some other things and eventually they messed with us, you know, and gave us like potions of poison. <clears throat> Which we, we drank promptly because it was hilarious. We knew it wasn't good, but we did it because we thought it was funny. You know, they gave us this potion, so might as well use it. <laughs> the server did shut down though after not too long which was disappointing but all good things come to an end then we had another server called pandacraft uh they did a server restart which kind of killed their motivation for the server which was disappointing but oh well um, and we had, they didn't allow placing water. I think, honestly, it was a faction server, but this was when we were, like, brand new to Minecraft. This was 1.2.5 still. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a faction server. Um, and we just made our little base, made our little base underground. Um, you couldn't. You couldn't mine crafting table, or you could mine crafting tables. You couldn't mine furnaces, and you couldn't mine uh, chests. So we we built around the outside of our house entirely of uh, furnaces. Which, looking back at it, it's insane. That's so much stone. Um. It was obviously underground, because that would look awful above ground. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, there was, there was only one way in our base. And we, uh, we eventually decided to make a, uh, what's it called? A giant tree, which we were so proud of, but really it was kind of lame. It was just a square tree that we kept growing higher and higher. It was like a 5x5, five five, maybe a 7x7. Seven seven. And we just kept mining up. 
or mining. We kept growing the trees on top of the other ones, getting rid of the leaves, and then so on. It was fun, though. We had a lot of fun doing that. This is back when we were, like, really ignorant to a lot of stuff. We were still brand new. Um, we would mine in 2x2 two two pattern like this. Um, I would be here, he would be over here. And we would both be mining straight forward. Um, we would always have music going during that, too. It was fun. Um, <coughs> what else? The, yeah, so you couldn't place water because, like, griefing problems, so we had no farms. I don't know why we never just got animals, but we didn't, so. Um, yeah, so basically we, we just ended up, uh, digging around and there just happened to be a, one of those naturally spawned pools of water right right by uh, our base so we made as big of a farm as we could from that and it wasn't very big we didn't know how water could spread far to crops so I think it was like a maybe too wide at some points farm but that was how that was how we got food but on that server before that, for the longest time, we we would just grow a bunch of trees and eat apples. <clears throat> and uh, eventually our area got griefed, I believe. Um, it either got griefed or the server wiped. It was one or the other. And there was a hill that we decided to live on. <clears throat> and we we just dug into the hill uh, I placed down vines at the top of the hill so it grew down and covered our doors which is funny of course you know we were really worried about hiding our house on the server but I mean we didn't have anything if I remember correctly like one day we got a pair of diamond pants and we we're like oh my god yes you know like we've done it we've succeeded we had diamond tools <clears throat> and they were enchanted but like we had no diamond armor which i mean big difference right now it was, it was fun it was, it was a lot of fun We, we, uh, we played so much Minecraft back then that it was a lot. You know, it was, it was our childhood. I, there's a lot of times I wish that I could go back into Minecraft. Back to the days when I was super ignorant about a lot of stuff. Because, it, you know, like... It was it was a lot more fun. I mean, it's, it's still fun, but it's a different type of fun. Back then, you know, I remember my very first Minecraft world. I uh, I settled on a beach. It was actually a teeny little island that was about probably ten blocks from the mainland. But at the time, I was like, oh yeah, you know, this way I'll be far away from the island, and I will, or far away from the mainland, and I don't have to worry about, uh, about mobs. You know, I, I knew about Minecraft to the point. Nobody really taught me much. I just knew it from, uh, from videos that I watched a little bit. And, uh, my friend Jacob, he... He played Minecraft, and um, my uncle, he, he originally showed me Minecraft. When he showed it to me, I think it was still in beta. And that's when I really got into it. <clears throat> um, he... But yeah, I, I made this little house, and I'm like, 
oh yeah, I'm protected. And, you know, I went to bed. Uh, like, in the game, I went into my bed and slept. And the day went by. And I was, like, freaking out because I started seeing fire. These fire, like, something was on fire. I'm like, oh no, what... Oh, I didn't realize that that had a range. Oh, so I'm gonna have to rebuild that then. Um, but yeah, there, you know, I was freaking out because there was fire, these fire mobs that were walking around. I'm like, what is this? What is this? It, it was mobs dying in the sunlight. But you know, I was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. And, uh, I asked my friend about it. He's like, oh, yeah, there's these things called blazes. And, uh, well, at first I asked him, like, are there any, like, fire mobs in the game? Because I, I saw these fire guys. You know, he, he told me they were blazes. And, I mean, I don't, I didn't show him a picture, so he, he's technically right. <laughs> the fire mobs of the game. Um, but yeah, it was, you know, it was a fun, it was a fun experience. I eventually realize I'm like wait a minute that looks like a skeleton and it was it was a burning skeleton um but yeah you know I I'm never gonna you know I'm never gonna have that experience again it's never gonna be something like that I've experienced almost everything in Minecraft there's gonna be no like first time experiences um what else? I, uh... Oh yeah, I was mining onto the side of a mountain. It wasn't this tall because this was 1.2.5. Um, I was mining into it. And, you know, it was probably about Y level 70. And I was making, uh, I was making a strip mine. You know, I was mining in a mountain for ores. That makes sense. You know, you, you go to mine into a mountain for ores. That's how it works in real life. Well, I didn't realize you had to go deep. Oh. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize that you actually had to go like deep underground. So here I was, just like being, you know. Not really an idiot, because I wasn't. It was just being dumb. <laughs> and it was great, you know? It was a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, is there any other? I my first uh, my first diamond I mined up with a uh, a stone pickaxe and not only was it a stone pickaxe but it wasn't a diamond it was gold I don't know how I made that mistake but to be fair it was it was dark like I was in a cave with no torches at all um oops And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so, you know, just stuff like that. And, like, I found Lapis. I was like, what in the world is this? I knew at the time it wasn't diamonds because I found diamonds by then. Um, I, I then, you know, eventually I decided to travel. I'm like, you know what, let's... Let's explore. So I went exploring to find a good house. Because this was, you know, this was my first day house. I watched the video that Minecraft uh, posted on their website about, you know, how you're going to want to get coal early on. And, you know, this is, this is what you're supposed to do the first day of Minecraft. So I, I built, you know, my little hut and whatnot. And then I decided to go exploring. And I made a house. 
I, I found an, a little peninsula and I started working on my house. It was a good house for, you know, early, you know, somebody who has no idea what they're doing. Um, you know, it, it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed the house I made. Um, I then, there was a cave, oops, there was a cave, and that cave had a, at the very bot. it was one of the straight down caves, it wasn't a ravine, it was like one of those pits that go down very quickly, and it was very skinny. That's a lot of lava. Um, and so I went down it and I found a mine shaft. I had heard about mine shafts and I didn't want to go anywhere near it. So I block. I went to the top of that cave as fast as I could and I blocked off the entire cave. I blocked off like three blocks of wood on top of that cave because I didn't want the evil demons coming and getting me. You know, I heard about evil creatures that were in these things, and I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to lose all my good loot that I had, you know, like my stone pickaxe, my leather hat. I don't actually know what I had. I probably had a bucket. Maybe. Actually, no, there's no way I had a bucket. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, it's just, just these little experiences that you're never going to get to have again. kind of sad you know figuring figuring out the game that's not something that you get to do twice but I enjoyed it while it lasted and that's kind of you know it's just kind of why Minecraft's always gonna be my most my favorite game You know, it's just such a such a fun little thing to do. So I think I think that the me uh, running out of haste as I got farther down is the reason people always build their beacons at bedrock. I'm realizing that now. trying to think of other experiences um I made a tree house which involved me having my house and I put trees on it I, I let trees grow on top of my house and I had a whole bunch of a whole bunch of leaves that I broke open and had a that's up well my dad's calling me I'll step out real quick <laughs> 